Hi guys, thanks for dropping by. Welcome to the channel, or welcome back to the channel. We're going to be doing some more of uh, Al Murray. is always very popular and always very funny. This one is called All Jobs Are Terrible. Let's just watch. Right after you subscribe to the channel, you can, you can like the, the video at the end, but you should subscribe now just so you don't forget. So, since you've done that, let's watch the video. No job's all it's cracked out to be. That's a fact. Fellow there in the jumper, what's your name, sir? Carl. Carl, what do you do, sir? Production manager. Production manager? Ooh, what have you p p production managed that we might... Conferences. Conferences. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell, non-essential personnel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, is that all it's cracked out to be? It's all right, yeah. No, it's not all it's cracked out to be, is it? <laughs> Cleaning windows, is that all it's cracked out to be? Then again. No, working IT, is that what it's cracked out to be? No, being a fireman, is that what it's cracked out to be? Yeah. No, it isn't. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I sat around all day doing fuck all waiting for something to happen. <laughs> <laughs> working for Red Bull, is that what it's cracked out to be, love? No, not the moment, though. No, no job in the world is all it's... Being a teacher, is that all it's cracked out to be? No, it isn't, love. No, it isn't. Apart from the holidays, no, it isn't. <laughs> <laughs> no job in the world. Not even being the Pope is all it's cracked out to me. Now, being Pope looks like a good job, doesn't it? Yeah? Head of the world's biggest church. Uh -huh. You can tell people to do all sorts of stupid stuff and they have to fucking do it. Brilliant. <laughs> Sounds brilliant, doesn't it? Sounds like a fucking gas, doesn't it? Yeah, but no one listens to the Pope, do they? No one. Do we have any Catholic ladies present this evening? Yeah, one down there, yeah? yeah what's your name, love? Jenny. Jenny. Beautiful British name. No, you're a Catholic. Of course you understand the Da Vinci Code and all that. <laughs> <laughs> Good girl. Now, basically, yeah, you don't listen to the Pope, do you, darling? You don't listen to the Pope, do you? No, of course not. You've got one in your handbag, haven't you? Hey! <laughs> <laughs> Just in case you fool, hey! Yeah, you Catholic girls are the worst, don't you? Because you get forgiven whatever it is you do. <laughs> now, that's pretty here. Now, the truth is, No one listens to the Pope. Mind you, I wouldn't want to be Pope because you've got to wear a dress, and you? You've got to wear a frock. <laughs> I'm fucking interested. But no one listens. And it's a shit job, isn't it? Because who here like who here likes Christmas dinner? <laughs> what do we like? Christmas dinner. When do we want it? Christmas. But now Christmas. <laughs> Everyone loves Christmas dinner. Yeah, and you'd think being the Pope, Christmas Day would be the best day of the year, wouldn't it? Because you get to eat Christmas dinner all fucking day. Just stuff his face full of Christmas dinner, 24 hours of the day, Christmas Day. You'd think that being Pope, but no! 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 This is why being Pope is not what it's cracked up to be. Right, because not only is no one fucking listening, but he has to say grace in 178 languages. <laughs> sit down for his Christmas dinner. Tear you to fucking pieces, wouldn't it? Nomine patri et filio et spiritu sancto. Oh, I can smell those, uh, those sausages. <laughs> those sausages wrapped in bacon. <laughs> One of them sprouts. <laughs> we only have them once a year and they disagree with me, but I fucking love them. Hey, <laughs> the old fuck it, I'm going to skip Spanish, they're not listening, are they? <laughs> <laughs> the English, they gave up a long time. Oh, fuck it. <laughs> it's Christmas! <laughs> I mean, being the Queen isn't all it's cracked up to be. It isn't, it isn't. When you little girl, did you just like to run around in knickers pretending to be a princess? Did you? <laughs> you did, did you? <laughs> you did. You did. <laughs> Tell me you did, yeah? <laughs> in fact, skip that. When was the last time you ran around in Nicholas? When was that? On your honeymoon? <laughs> <laughs> now. <laughs> Truth is this. All little girls wanted to be princesses, didn't you, girls? Yeah? yeah? But actually, being a queen is not all it's cracked up to be, is it? Right, it's not all it's fucking cracked up to be. Right, because in life, in life, lads, yeah, you like films. Do you like films, son? Yeah. You do? Yeah, well, films are a load of shit, right? They're lying to you, right? Because in life, there is no soundtrack. In real life, there isn't a soundtrack. When you meet the woman of your dreams, you don't suddenly burst into song spontaneously. It doesn't happen. There are no tense violins when you crash your dad's car for the first time. <laughs> Put it in a ditch and have to lie about someone nicking it. <laughs> that, 
doesn't happen. There are, there's no music in real life. There is no soundtrack, is there? Unless, of course, you're a majesty the queen. Yeah? And she has the soundtrack everywhere she goes. The, the greatest tune in the world, which is, of course, the national anthem. My favourite tune and your favourite tune, I'm sure. Yeah? Here we go. Yes, I agree. To you and me, to you and me, yeah, to imagine the Queen, it's the most fucking annoying thing in her life. <laughs> Everywhere she goes, she has a soundtrack to her life, but it's the same tune every single time. You see her at a state function, her eyes go blank and dead. She's thinking, oh, fuck, here we go again. <laughs> she turns up in her furs and that sort of furry helmet crown thing, turns up, and then has to make shit small talk. Oh, really, you're a fireman? Well, get on with it then. <laughs> You disgust me, grow up. <laughs> Put the chips down, Big Bob. Now... <laughs> so that job's not all it's cracked up to be, but being an astronaut is definitely not all it's cracked up to be. Now, do you, do you, do you like sci-fi films? Huh? You, you like them? You like a bit of the old sci-fi? Yeah, do we like a bit of the old sci-fi? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, did you see the last Star Wars film? Do you like that? You like Star Wars? Revenge of the Sith, wasn't it? Revenge of the Sith. Revenge of the Sith, like that. And it was the sixth film, but in fact it was the third film, wasn't it? Because yeah? how those films were, because the first, second and third film, yeah, and the fourth, fifth and sixth film, and the fourth, fifth and sixth film, and the first, second and third film. <laughs> Fucking yanks. Now, what is this? <laughs> what is this? You love that film, don't you? You love it. The old Darth Vader, <laughs> all that, yeah, yeah. And the old Stormtroopers. <laughs> Pew, 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 all that, yeah, yeah, and the old Wookiee, uh, all that, yeah. <laughs> and the X-Wing fighters and the droids. <laughs> well, you love all that, don't you? <laughs> you love all that, you love it, don't you? <laughs> Say, I love it, go on, I love it. <laughs> yeah, well, it's for kids, <laughs> fucking grow up. <laughs> <laughs> Being an astronaut isn't all it's cracked up to be. Now, Harvey, do you remember the moon landing, sir? <laughs> of course you do, back in the late 60s, and you know late 60s. Now... <laughs> <laughs> Now, do you remember the names of the men who landed on the moon, Harvey? No. No, you don't. All right, okay. Rhoda, any idea? What? The names of the astronauts. <laughs> <laughs> the names of the astronauts. I have no idea. I'm strong. Neil yeah. Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin. Yeah. Who I had the privilege to meet earlier this year. Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin. Yeah, first two men on the moon, yeah? One's one snip from me, one's not snip from mankind, and all that. $25 billion spent to discover that when you walk on the moon, you walk like a fucking gingerbread man. <laughs> <laughs> That's a lot of gingerbread. Now... <laughs> but actually, there was a third bloke went with them. Yeah, a man by the name of Michael Collins, as played by Liam Neeson. <laughs> <laughs> Michael Collins, who proves that no job is all it's cracked up to be. Because yeah. he spent, Michael Collins, he yeah, spent eight years in training to become an astronaut. Yeah. Then he went all the way, a quarter of a million miles, all the way to the fucking moon. And then when he got there, wasn't allowed to land on the fucking thing. <laughs> Life is a series of endless, relentless, grinding disappointment, boys. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, terrible experience. Five days it took them to get there. Yeah, they sat in the capsule, off they went. We're going to the moon, we're going to the moon. <laughs> we're going to the fucking moon, we're going to the moon. Come on, Neil, come on, Buzz, we're going to the moon. We're going to the moon. <laughs> Neil, Buzz and Mike are going to the moon. It's going to be brilliant, it's going to be great. We're going to be walking on the fucking, fucking moon. It's going to be brilliant, it's going to be... Come on! We're going to be walking on the fucking moon. Like that. <laughs> they get there, pull up. But become increasingly shifty as the journey has progressed. <laughs> <laughs> Not 
talking to one another without making eye to contact with Michael Collins, unhook themselves, like that, and float away. <laughs> through the tunnel connecting Columbia, the command module, with Eagle, the lunar lander. They float through. This is zero gravity you've got going on here. They float through. Not with the legs, obviously. They float through. <laughs> Close the hatch behind them. Look like that. Press the button. And fuck off. <laughs> the first men on the moon, leaving Michael Collins on his own in that command module, on his own for 23 hours, on his own going round and round the moon, on his own for 23 hours in 44 minute orbits, round and round the moon. 23 hours, plenty of time to ponder exactly how fucking disappointing being <laughs> And that whole time he's out there, he's going, you lying fucking bastard! <laughs> you lying fucking, you wankers! No wonder they didn't join in with a song off a fast song! You lying, you lying, you... One small step for a cunt, more like... <laughs> <laughs> all right okay so that was al murray all jobs are terrible <laughs> he had some good points there uh yeah <laughs> there's there's something annoying about every job i guess anyway thanks for watching i uh, hope you liked the video subscribe to the channel and uh you know leave a comment if you got anything that you'd like me to watch or you know, and just, just to say hi, you know, leave a comment, and uh, we'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.